This is the second video in the implementation series for Hoopla for users who are not using Salesforce or Microsoft Dynamics. In this step, we've already added our users and now we are going to create teams within Hoopla. To get to teams, we can either use the navigation for users and teams on the main page or we can use the left hand navigation bar and go to teams. Here we'll be setting up teams and we can do that depending on your hierarchy within your organization. We can make small teams that roll up into big teams. It just cannot be circular. The reason we are making teams is that we are going to be creating things in Hoopla such as leaderboards and news flashes. You'll want to add people on as a team to those items so you can just add a person to a team when they come into Hoopla and they will go everywhere they need to be in Hoopla. It'll save you a lot of time as an admin and Hoopla will run more smoothly than you adding individuals to every item. So to add a team, we'll click the Add button. We'll give the team a name, like the Sales Team. And then we'll click into the Add Members area and choose who is going to be on that team. Once we've determined our team, we can also add a team photo that can be used if we do any team news flashes and a team song and transition for any news flashes as well. But just to get started, having the people in works perfectly. So we'll click save and we've added our first team. You'll continue to populate until all of the teams that you need are in there and then we'll move on to step three.